Okay, I know it's been a while. I've been super busy, but uh, we got a strike mission. We're actually going diving. It's winter time, North Shore, and uh, we got a little bit of north wind today. Waves aren't very big, so we came to the south side, and uh, we're gonna go try dive some deep reef, uh, use some palu or chum, and uh, see if we can't get some ukus and hopefully some onos. Uh, with my buddy Eli Olson. What's up, guys? Surfer, and uh, now, diehard spear fisherman he got his first sono the other day so he's all fired up and uh, we're heading out on Jesse who's filming's boat so he films and edits and he's a captain today um, don't ask for a raise <laughs> Kidding. Um, but it's gonna be fun water looks super nice a common problem that people have with free diving is equalizing and you know that there can be a number of reasons for that but the main thing that I find especially if I ask people is it worse for you towards the end of the dive day? And it's usually yes is the answer. And it's because of hydration. So that ear canal that you're trying to open up when you pop your ears, it's circular and it has a muscle attaching this way and a muscle attaching the opposite way on the other side. So it's like this. And when the muscles pull in opposite directions, it makes that opening dilate. Um, so if you're dehydrated, that gets really sticky and it makes it hard for that opening to dilate and that air to get to your um, behind your eardrum so staying hydrated is really crucial drinking water when it's too late during the day doesn't work because that water has to get into your system so being hydrated early and having the proper minerals in you to so your body can create electrolytes for a true hydration you don't just pee the water out um, is key so first thing in the morning protect hydration my favorite one tastes the best um, and just super easy so it's just the liquid goes in mixes instantly no powder no junk flying around and good to go but just remember if you have problems equalizing hydrate 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 Alrighty. On location. Now we just gotta see if the fish are there. It's so hit or miss with these deep reefs. It's put some uh, Paulu down and just see if anything shows up. Sometimes you just have a dry run with the current and other times it's on fire right when you get in. So we'll see. You know, you can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. That's it. That's a good uku. What? He's bigger than you think. He's bigger than you think. Okay, so pull yourself up the line, Eli. Pull yourself up the line so you don't have a big mess around you.
good size. <clears throat> So stoked! He's a tag. All right, guys, so I just shot my personal best Uku. The thing just spooled me and Healy looked at me and said, don't let go. And I started getting dragged around. I'm in this tangled mass. Climb up and I think Mark just shot an Odo. He yelled Odo. And oh yeah, I think I'm gonna go jump in and just see if he needs backup. I might grab another gun and leave this rat nest here. <laughs> Yoo -hoo! Nice fish. Yeah. Nice fish, man. Thanks. That uku oh. is bigger than you thought, huh? Yeah. He's a dog. I was, yeah? I was tripping when I got to the boat and I was like, oh my god. You were going to be tripping. Yeah. Right? He has no idea. <laughs> it, I could tell because of the head on him. They look angry, huh? Yeah. Was that guy solo? Solo? That's a fatty. So we're, we were drifting for a while and it was super slow. Uh, nothing was e even eating the anchovies. And then uh, finally uh, a couple ukus started showing up on our drift. A nice one came up shallow. Eli shot it. I knew it, it was going to be bigger than he thought it was because it had a big old head on it. And uh, he shot that fish. He's all stoked getting it in the boat. Then I was by myself and uh, this guy swam right in. Got a good spine shot on him. <laughs> Murph! Look at that dude. He's a dozer, bro. <laughs> dude, he's like... Dude, that's a monster. <laughs> I'm so stoked. That, he's... 25? Probably that's a long one too. He's skinny. Those are two amazing fish right there, oh, dude. So stoked. Mine was like this too. It never had bars. I was 
I was like thinking it was gonna light up once I hit it, but it stayed plain or like blue and silver. And so you spined it, and did it just start doing a circle? Yeah, I spined it, but the um, the knot where my reel line attaches to my shooting line is actually in in the reel. Yeah. So it kind of like gives a little resistance and pulls out. But since I shot down at him, the angle was like coming out of the reel like this. Yeah. And it wouldn't come out. Oh no. And so the, like that's the only reason why it tore. I had like a really pretty little hole in it, and then um, it got stuck. So I yeah. had to like jiggle it and finally line pulled but um yeah we love it's sticky a good shot. <laughs> yeah exactly it's still gonna taste the same look at that Beautiful head on fish. this guy try hold Full up the dinosaur uku. head eli's uku look at noggin on that thing <laughs> angry they got the eyebrows yo and the yeah it's a big uku so we were drifting as usual in this uh, deep reef and uh, putting sardines down and really had no action for probably the first 45 minutes but since we were moving with the current you know you might as well stay in the water you're kind of going over new ground every five minutes and finally started seeing a little bit more life like some trigger fish starting to eat the bait some smaller uku showing up then a nice big uku came right up to the palu Eli went down, shot it, spooled him, so um, he's dealing with that. I knew because of the, the head on that uku when it came in that it was a big one. And it's so hard to tell because it's deep and you don't have very good depth perception or anything to compare it to. So Eli's like fighting it and he's all like chill. Yeah. I was like, right, he's going to freak out when he sees how big this thing is. And so he was dealing with it and got it up in his hands and then throwing it in the boat and I was by the flasher and then an Ono came in and uh, I made the mistake past couple times I've seen Onos it's like I thought they would stay they would stay around so I didn't dive on them right when they came into the flasher so this time I didn't make that mistake no hesitation just tried to do a smooth drop on him on the flasher he almost spooked once and then turned into me even more and I got like a downward shot and spined him so stoked really good start to the morning Another fatty.
just been underwater for five minutes, dropping on some monsters. And uh, I got my two fish, and I'm stoked. I don't need more than that. Maybe if an Ono comes in or something, but other than that, I'm gonna just watch Mark and spot him. And uh, yeah, I'm just stuck to be out here. A lot of action down there. Yo, Eli, if the shark gets a hold of this thing, I might need help. <laughs>
Oh man, I can't believe the shark didn't take this. Azaruku. <laughs> this thing is a donkey. Oh, I had to work for this guy. This thing was a beast, jeez, that was a that was a brutal dive. It's like end of the day, kind of tired. 110 feet, two minute dive. And just plug this guy. Oh, he's got some weight to him, man. He's that one. Man, this guy's got some shoulders on him. This wasn't even the biggest one down there. There's a bigger one than this that I saw. Man, this was a ass kicker of a last dive. This was not one of the ones that came up on the Palu. Ended up going down like 110 feet. It's a two minute dive, but just towards the end of the day, tired and just having to look around because there's a big Galapagos shark. And I had some Opelu on my belt, so I was a little nervous get my eyes off of him so it wasn't really relaxing dive but got one. Oh, this guy fought so hard on the reel i kept thinking the shark must have grabbed him but it was just him fighting awesome day on the water like couldn't have gone better um had the palu down it was a little slow at the beginning then we started getting into the action and it was just going kind of nuts at from there on out, um, had a lot of opportunities, and Eli smashed the first <laughs> dozer uku, um, and then uh, I ended up getting this ono right after, and then uh, we went back and forth the whole day. But the whales were singing this first time I've heard that this winter, so it's like definitely brings back memories. Like my best dive days are always when I hear a ton of whales in the background kind of winter into spring and uh yeah just it was a blast definitely got some exercise today <laughs> how's that so that's like a murph uku do you think you've even seen one that big in the water before i've or? never i've never seen one even this big i think this one's got <laughs> this beat yeah but uh yeah every time i dive with mark i i tend to beat my personal best <laughs> Landed my first Ono oh last week. Yep. Like seven days ago? Yeah. Eight days ago? Probably about. And, uh, and then we had a killer morning. Just got my two biggest Ukus. Mark gets his Ono, oh then gets the smaller Uku, and then last drop of the day has to just get the Murph of the century. I don't know. This thing might be similar weight to this Ono. Oh That's. That's the biggest uku I've the ever seen. Rate. That's the biggest uku I've ever seen in my life by by a lot. I'm guessing that's the second biggest uku I've shot in my life. Yeah, that thing is a dinosaur. That, that was, that was a, a workout. I'm stoked that shark didn't eat him. Yeah, I thought for sure he fought the, for so long. At the very end, he came in, and I, I was like, "Gonna back you up," but he didn't even he didn't come in too hot. He just wanted all the free and easy entries. Yeah, <laughs> that was a killer day. Yep, but. Not missing anything on North Shore. We got kind of north wind, so the surf sucks, and did the strike mission out south. Thanks, Jesse, for captaining. Yeah, thank and you, filming Jesse. And editing. All right, so I got a giveaway. Um, in one week, whoever guesses the closest combined weight of these two. So guess the weight of both of these fish and give us one answer in the comments of this video. And whoever gets closest, I'm gonna uh, send a pair of Costa Sampans. What I got on right now, my signature sunglass and glass polarized. That's gonna be the prize. So, one week, guess the combined weight of these two fish. Good luck.